All right, so let's look at this question on change of subject of formula. This question here says, make Q the subject of the formula when L is equal to 4M root PQ all divided by 3. Okay, so how do you solve this question? All right, so first things first, I'm going to write out this question here. So we're given that L is equal to 4M root PQ this all divided by 3. So we have this as the question. All right, to further see this clearer, all right, to get a clearer picture, I write this as L as being equal to, this is the same thing as me saying 4M, this root PQ, this all over 3. So all over 3. This all over 3. So we have this. All right, so how do you solve this? We want to make Q to be subject of the formula okay our first task would be of course this is over one that means we have to be, we have to cross multiply this times this that becomes 4m into okay 4m roots pq times one it's equal to this times this um l times three okay let's proceed with this so this now becomes 4m Roots pq of course times one is itself is equal to l times three is three l my next tax here would be to divide here and also divide here divide both sides by 4m divide here by 4m so from here 4 cancels 4 m cancels m this becomes square root of pq it's equal to this is now equal to 3L all over 4M. So we have this. All right, so at this point here, we can now square both sides. So square, square both sides, square both sides. What do we get there? It becomes the square root of PQ all squared. It's equal to this is 4L or 3L all over 4M, this all squared. So we are squaring both sides. What do we have here? From here, we have this cancels this. All right, so I have PQ. It's equal to 3 squared gives you 9. L squared gives you L to part 2 all over. 4, this 4 here, all squared gives you 16. That's 4 times 4. And then m squared. So m squared gives you m squared. All right, so we have this as your answer. So what's the next thing here? From here, we want to get p, uh, we want to get the value of q. So all you have to do is multiply both sides. Multiply by a 1 over p. All right. If I say multiply by one over p, or I say divide both sides by p, it means the same thing. All right. So from here we we'll have that one over p to one over p multiplies p q. It's equal to one over p multiplies what I have here is nine l squared. So nine l squared all over sixteen m squared. So we have this. From here, P cancels P. I'm left with Q. So you have that Q, it's equal to, for this, we'll have that 1 times 9L squared. That becomes 9L squared all over P times 16M squared gives you 16M squared P. I'm having this as 16M squared P. So this now becomes the answer to this question. So with this, We've made P, we've made Q to be subject of the formula. All right, so this is how we get um, the answer to this question. All right, so in this same question here, what if you ask to make M, all right? So your task is this, for this same question here, make M, right? Make M to be subject of the formula in this question. What would you, what will your answer be, all right? If you make M to be subject of the formula in this question, what will the answer be? Leave it in the comment section. Okay. All right, then.
If you enjoyed this video, as usual, hit the like button. Alright, so like this video, leave a comment. For your comment, your task is simple. You're asked to make M to be subject of the formula in this question. Right, make M, then leave your answer in the comment section. Uh, if it's your first time here, or if you're yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and of course and of course hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, as usual, please share this video to your friends and your classmates so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.